Hello there, Rhino Horn125, and today I'm doing a video. Uh, it's well, as you've seen by the title, just gonna show you uh, what I have so far for my Wolverine costume. And I don't have very much from the last time, but I'm gonna explain a few things. So let me show you. So um, for my birthday, I got um, the mask. Then uh, yes, I have mannequin head that I drew all over with marker. Um, and so here this, here's the mask, and you can kind of see the mannequin mask through it a little bit there, but here it is, uh, I'll put it on a little bit, and I'll talk about the mask a little, a little bit as well, but, and then I got the claws. As you guys may know, might, I don't know for sure, is I already had one claw, um, which last year I ordered a pair, but only one came, and it wasn't like to where only one came and I had to wait forever to, for the other one to come. It was just, I don't know, it said there was a pair of them and uh, only one came, but reordered and uh, got both. So I have one pair and then I have one extra. So I guess the one extra is just, I don't know, I even know what to do with it. So, um, and it's in pretty good shape though. Um, there is a little difference though, uh, right here, it's smooth on these, and my other one, it's, uh, bumpy, so these are exactly the same, and if I only got one of these as well, it'd be different, so it'd be kind of weird, so, good thing, and, uh, while I'm on these, um, these are stainless steel, um, not a lot of people recommend to get these, uh, as you can see, here's how they fit. I mean, this is how you're supposed to be able to hold them. You just have them go over, but they don't do that, so you have to do this. Which is one of the reasons I decided to make this costume. Because I wear gloves with the costume, and it just makes it easier and more of a reason to wear gloves. Um, so, uh, that's, you know, kind of sucks, but then it doesn't, because I really like, really want to make this costume, so it's not that bad. Uh, um, I'll show you how those look on. Um, I wear gloves with them, and I don't know what the difference is, but it's just more comfortable. And because when I wear these like this and fling around, it hurts. As you can see, they shake around, you know, you can't keep tight grip, and then if you do that, it still kind of hurts, like right in there, uh, presses up against your skin. So wearing gloves with these is a better idea than actually doing it. A lot of people make their own, which is actually a really good idea, or they have really kind of expensive ones that fit perfectly and they go like farther down and it really looks like it comes out of your skin and they normally fit perfect. But I'm happy with these and since I have gloves in my costume anyway, oh, which is telling me to get the gloves with this Wolverine cosplay, um, I, you know, they fit with the gloves so it's fine. So I'm going to get uh, the, these other gloves that I have. Um, these are just for gloves for any type of thing, mainly uh, JW Kills, where um, in the last one I got my hand chopped off, so I have a robotic hand in that, and uh, so that's mainly what I've used them for in videos. Other than that, it's just if I decide to make a costume. I also used it for uh, the clone. Um, I have two of them, so here is these claws on with those gloves. Alright, uh, so um, here they are with the gloves. They look way better. Uh, these are just some gloves. They're not the gloves for the costume, but, you know, they look pretty good on there. So, so uh, there they are. And I think they look pretty good, and then the gloves I'm getting are similar to these, but they are black and yellow, um, so, happy with these, uh, so, if you're getting gloves with the costume, I do recommend these, because they are, kind of, they're kind of cheap, I mean, cheap for, I guess, um, a stainless steel item, but they are very durable, also, I mean, you could actually, they're not that sharp, um, Sorry, I'm uh, taking off my glove um, quick, just to show you what these do. Um, so, if I do this and press down, not as hard as I can, but 
just kind of it just kind of leaves an indent, and I don't really want to scratch myself. But if I just do that, um, I'll do it right here. So uh, I don't really, really do this. Uh, it just leaves you can't really see, I guess. So that was kind of useless, but it leaves kind of a white mark. And if you do it um, kind of more deep, it will make like a scratch. Um, but so do not fleas at people, like jab at people, or slice or hit anybody, unless you actually like, unless someone's like trying to uh, kill you and you so happen to be wearing these, like you're in your Wolverine cosplay or something, let's say I am and someone tries to kill me, I don't know what which actually for me, when you think of yourself in a hostile situation, you always think, I do this and I do that, really you wouldn't, um, instead of doing this for me, I would probably take off in the opposite direction. Um, but that is the um, gloves with uh, the uh, claws. So um, now for the mask. All right. Uh, so uh, here is the um, the mask. Uh, it is uh, a disguise, dis disguise uh, dot com um, like masks and. It has some problems, but it is a very good mask. Um, it fits me pretty good. I mean, the thing that doesn't fit me the most, I mean, is the chin. But other than that, it fits perfectly. I cut up here on the eyes. I did it perfect. You can't tell. I mean, I just did it the same right there. But um, actually, right there, I probably had to cut that piece off right there. But um, other than that, I didn't have to do anything else to it. Here's the back. Uh, Here's the side. It would be nice, way nicer, uh, to have one, like, if you've watched Bat in the Sun, there is, um, a Wolverine, uh, you know, on Bat in the Sun, and it would be way better to have a mask like that fit me perfectly, but, you know, uh, I've, my friend suggested some, uh, some, like, Instagram sites and people, there's people that do sell them, but it's 200 to 300 dollars or to up to 500 depending on what it's made out of. Um, the cheapest they have them for is 200, but it's still, uh, you know, kind of, you know, pricey. So, I'm gonna make this work. He also suggested, uh, putting padding in this so it fits me better and using some type of thing to put this down on my skin. Um, because you'll notice when it's on me, this side will go flat up against my cheek, and this side won't. And I just noticed recently why that is. I mean, if you look at it, this side is just over here, and this goes more farther over for some weird reason. Which I thought was kind of weird. And you can't fix it by cutting this one more, because then it'll just tear easily, because it's latex. So you can't do that, and if you have this mask, do not do that. Um, so, let me put it on, uh, real quick. Uh, so, I am happy with this mask. Uh, I think the only small thing I have problem with it is the coloration of yellow. Let me focus on that as much. I don't know if it shows up like it does how I see it, but it is not as yellow as it looked in the picture. It's more of like a faded yellow. But, it doesn't look bad. And, I mean, other than that, um just being what it is it's pretty good and then the eyes I had to mess with those and then um, the chin doesn't fit me perfect but that's and then the also the thing with how this goes all over there other than that I mean that seems like a lot but it's really not that bad and I could make it work I just have to do some stuff with it uh, but one thing though I'm really proud of, the only, actually the thing I worried about was actually one of the best parts about this, the ears. I mean like, I guess not ears, but these flap things right here. I thought they would be all crumpled and misshapen, but they are really good shaped actually. So let me put this on. Alright, so here it is on me, and I'm going to find a way to put it tighter uh, on my head. And as you can see, see this goes flat up again, so it looks pretty good. And then this does not. So what I want to end up making it is like this. And then have it tighter on me. So like that. 
and uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything else with the eyes. I was thinking about putting white in the eyes actually, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm probably just going to put black around my eye. So there's it on me. And uh, as you can see on the back, um, as you can see on the uh, back, it has the hole with the line right there, and that hole is to make it so it doesn't rip and tear the mask all the way, um, as you guys may know. And one thing I'm glad they added is the wrinkles right here, but, you know, if I got this from some, like, company that was, like, you know, movie type effects masks, um, it would have been way better, and I hope to sometime, but for the time being, this, I'm going to make this work. I don't want to spend a lot of money on making a mask fit me when I'm, I just turned 16, and I'm going to grow, and of course my head's going to grow, I think, so, yeah, I don't want to buy a mask that's, this right here was only 30 something dollars, but I don't want to buy a 200 or $300 mask, fits me perfect, and end up growing out of it, having to sell it, which actually, if I ended up doing that, selling it, I'd probably have enough money when I'm older to get one that fits me when I'm older. I mean, like adult, where my head won't grow anymore. I don't even know how much your head grows from being 16 to an adult. I don't think it does. I don't, I don't know head growth. So, um, but anyway, that's kind of a strange thing to talk about. Pretty after this mask, uh, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I mean, for what it is, I mean, if it was not me saying for what it is, but me saying what I wish it would be, I would give it like a 1, but for what it is itself in the product, I give it an 8.5, and, and if you really want to make like a realistic Wolverine costume, this is not the mask to get, uh, like what I'm doing, but I'm going to make mine work, so if you want to make a realistic Wolverine costume, and you don't want to pay a lot of money, and you're willing to kind of work and make something work for you, this would be the mask to get. But if you're willing to pay a lot, then, you know, lucky you, uh, you're going to go and get a Wolverine mask that, or make one yourself, which would be awesome to do. Uh, my friend suggested putting padding in the inside, uh, so like around the parts, up in the ears, or like up here, so it fits my head perfectly, and if I took it off, it wouldn't like, like do this, like, kind of how it is, just so slouched, it should be like this, I think, just all the time, and, uh, to make this part right here go, like, more down on my skin, and, uh, you know, for the, uh, cowl, like, I'm not gonna just have it show my neck, and you can see my hair, I'm going to get a skin tight, uh, thick, uh, kind of thick, like, black cowl to put underneath it. Um, that goes like right like this. So um, just put the mask on. You won't be able to tell them all. It goes. What it does is it goes right here. It's on Amazon. So what I need to get so far. So all I have so far is I have dog tags. Uh, say Logan and Wolverine on them. And I have the claws. And then I have the mask. And I need to get the vest. Uh, black and white long sleeve and short sleeve. Uh, just you know I could switch out. Um, which one just have to keep the best and switch it out. And then I need to get to paint the pants and the boots and the gloves. And I'm done. And then work on the mask. So the last thing I'll probably get is the boots, because those are one of the most expensive things. They're fifty something dollars. And then the vest is like forty, but other than that everything's pretty cheap. Like good cheap. And fifty dollars isn't like way out of there for me. Um but, you know, I will work on this costume uh, until it is done. And I don't really have any plans for any other costumes. Um, I was going to do a Cat America cosplay, but I decided it was just kind of too expensive a costume to do. I was going to do the stealth Cat America, so I don't think I'm going to do that for the time being. It depends. I might change after this one's finished. But, no. Uh, so, stay tuned for more. Like, comment, and subscribe. I uh, look forward to some more cosplay um, videos uh, about this, which might be in a while until I get some 
some more stuff. It might not be that long, but a while, I guess. I don't really know. Stay tuned for some more action figure reviews. Got some action figures coming in. Uh, if you watched my last video, you'll know. And uh, stay tuned for the clone part uh, 12.5, which is in between part 12, which I already did, and part 13, which I'm going to do some other time. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching, and bye. Have a nice day.